And now it's time for our first arts and culture segment of 2014. Uh, we have Itaewo joining us live in the studio with a package of K-pop news for our viewers. Hello, Itaewo. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. So, uh, Itaewo, in light of uh, the new year, you'll be introducing us some uh, new up-and-coming K-pop artists. That's right. Now, with uh, big entertainment companies currently dominating the current K-pop scene, talented new artists from smaller companies have a hard time receiving any of the limelight. So. Today, we take a look at some of these new artists from smaller companies. 2013 was a banner year for the K-pop industry, both here at home and abroad. And word has it, K-pop and its popularity all across the globe are set to be just as strong, if not stronger, in 2014, with the K-pop scene teeming with girl groups and boy bands. But there are concerns that because so many of these idol groups are pumped out by a few major entertainment agencies, new artists from smaller companies rarely receive any share of the spotlight. So, today, we look at some talented new K-pop artists that you may not yet have heard of. Our first featured artist just recently released a digital single on December 5th. Hello everyone from Arirang, I'm Tabit, and I just came out with my digital single, Fu Fu Fu, so please give me a lot of support and love. The Korean-American artist composes and produces all of his own music, which is why his new track truly seems to reflect his personality and the roots of his musical background. This concept, um, it was sort of a jazz concept, which comes a lot from my Berkeley roots as well. But um, I think, yeah, I, I try to take uh, music that I like and I try to put like maybe somewhat of a um, modern twist to it. Like. And the jazzy feel of the melodies are combined with the heavier, more pop-inspired beats to give the song Hoo 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 a unique flavor. The vocals of Dabit also match very well with the fresh feel of the song, which is due to the musical concept that the artist developed for himself. I listen to every single genre and I always try to mix and match things to try to find the right kind of tone and right kind of style of music that would fit my voice the best. The refreshing tone of voice and music by an artist who would rather stay a musician, not a star, can give us a nice break from other K-pop songs that sometimes have the feel of products produced from a factory. <laughs> 